to Raven. Did that shift? We declare a shift in the Holy Ghost. Shift us. Shift us. Shift us. Back up. Shift us. Shift our mind. Now you shift our mind. Move in the mind. Move in the mind. I feel like praying. Move in the mind. Now you the mind so Move in the mind. We rebuke today. The spirit of the lunatic. Touch that mind. Touch, yeah, touch it. I see you. Come out. Man of a hole. Come out of the belly. Everything hiding in the belly of your people. Come out today. Purge, I feel a deliverance in here. Purge, ha, da, da. Purge. Purge, ha, da. Purge today. Ha, ya, ba, sa. Send your deliverance power. Send your deliverance power. Send your deliverance power. Yeah, deliver today. All in the back. Yeah, Tato. Calls it go. To come out of the belly. Call. Yeah, my I'm a holy other man. So, oh, you're delivering the power. All over this church. You're delivering the power. You're mighty power. Send deliverance. We need deliverance. Send deliverance. Yeah, let a hold. We need deliverance. Send deliverance. We need deliverance. Let me out there of a hold. Everything resisted. The delivering power of God. Come out now. Get up. Let the Bahia. You are the God that set the captive free. You are the God that set the captive free. Now let the hold. Deliver. Deliver. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Yeah, no. Deliver me, Lord. No. Deliver me, Lord. Oh, save today. Save today. Save today. I come against that resistance. I feel I come. that resistance. I'm not shy, yeah. Deliver today. Deliver today. I hear you. Deliver today. Deliver today. How yeah. Deliver today. My deliver today. Uh-uh. Deliver today. Deliver today. Slatch us out. Slatch us out. Slatch us out. In the worship. Slatch us out. In the prayer. Slatch us out. In the word, let us have Elabahaya. We declare the freedom of God. We declare the freedom of God. You came to set the captive. You came now. Yeah. Yeah. I feel God. I feel God. You came to set the captive free. I come against everything resistant. The freedom of God. The freedom of God. Snatch it out. Snatch it out. Let your glory fall in this place. Nothing hot. Nothing hot. Nothing hot. You don't come to embarrass. You come to set free. You don't come to embarrass. You come to set free. God, I pray. Oh, God. Yeah. I speak to every unwilling thing. And we command it to come under the power of God. Every unwilling thing. Oh my God, that's all I'm. Woo! Kaya, if you're unwilling to Kaya, I'm not Zico. And we command you to be free. To be healed. That's all. Be delivered. Kaya, and be set free. Because that's what you came for. You came to set the captive. Oh! To set the captive free. Oh, set freedom in this house. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. We will not handcuff you. We will not rush you. Then I'm a hot. Do what you want to do. Do what you want. I know. Huh? Yeah, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do in me. Move in me. Move in me. It's not my brother. It's not my sister. But it's me, oh Lord. Standing at the knee of prayer. Get out of my house. Standing at the knee of the hole. It's me, oh God. Expose me to myself. Expose me to myself. Oh, fix me. Make me right. Hell of a hole. I am a heart. Hell of a heart. It's me gone. It's me gone. Heal me today. Deliver me today. Oh, my God. So I can do your will. So I can do your will. So I can do your will. The will of the law. Be done in this house. Oh, today. The will of the law. The will of the Lord prevail. 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 Every scheme of the enemy be rebuked now. Every scheme of a fish, the Lord rebuke it. 
true. Hallelujah. That he's a faithful God. And he's worthy of all the honor. And he's worthy of all the praise. No matter what's going on in your life. No matter what's going on in my life. My God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I lift my hands to him. I give him a shout of hallelujah. I praise his holy name on today.
saved. Amen? Hallelujah. So I don't know what you would do if the Lord said, which he is saying, that I, if you submit to me, if you submit those things that I've been calling after, if you submit it to me, I'll save Jeremy's life. Hallelujah. I'll save Chris's life. Hallelujah.
Gill is an opportunity. Hallelujah to be blessed. Hallelujah. For I was appointed to this blessing. I was appointed to this blessing. Yes, Lord. So, so he has such a, we ask that you prepare your, your hearts and minds to give. Hallelujah. We have envelopes. Hallelujah. If you need one. Hallelujah. We have church center. We have cash out right here on the board. And we have a swiper in the back. We ask that you give at least $50. If you can give more, you can give $75, $100, then go ahead and do that. Because we can't give too much because God will just keep on blessing us to overflow. So we have not room to hold it. Hallelujah. So we ask that you give if it's your tithing day. If this is your week to tithe, then we ask that you give at least a tenth of your offering. All he asks that you do is that you bring it generously with a open, with a heart, with a happy heart. You got a smile on your face because it's giving time. Hallelujah. And God gets in the midst of that. He blesses that good offering. Hallelujah. The acceptable offering. All he asks is that you give it with a happy heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, please stand. And and follow the ushers. Follow the ushers. Follow the ushers. And come give up to the Lord. Hallelujah. For he is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
spirit pour out from your spirit. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. We believe you. We believe. 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 What you said to me. for what you have declared in this place. We thank you, Father, Bohoshanda, for what is manifesting right now. We thank you, Lord, for this people that you have drawn into this place. We thank you, Lord, that you are the Boshiah. You are the strong deliverer. You cause us to give birth. You cause us to see the manifestation of that which you declare. You cause us to walk in to that which you ordain. You cause us to see it. You cause it to manifest. And God, we bless you. We thank you for your strength to be able to stand. We thank you, Lord that you are the liberator. We thank you, Lord, that you are the giver of peace. We thank you, Lord, that as we abide in you now, as we trust in you now, 
as we surrender to you now, as we submit to you now, as we open up our hearts to you now, you can have your way in us. This is the day that you have made. Oh God, and we rejoice in it. We rejoice in that of in your righteousness. We rejoice in your wonders. We rejoice in your goodness. We recognize that this is another day that you've given us breath. We walk in victory. Recognizing that you are the Lord of Lords. You are the God, a liberator. You are the one true living God. I bless you, hope. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, by for your deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for your freedom. We thank you, Lord, for salvation that has hit this place. We thank you, Jesus, that you're drawing unto you even now. We thank you, Jesus, that not just our families, but God, every family in this community, every family that you've drawn into this place, God, that you intervene God in this land that many souls that men women and children shall be drawn unto you God to know you in this last hour I bless you Jesus for you overturning the plan of the enemy even in this community I bless you Jesus that every stronghold comes off the mind I bless you Jesus for your strong deliverance. I thank you Jesus for your power and glory being demonstrated here. I bless you Father. You calls us oh my name is You calls us to give birth. You calls us to be refreshed. You calls us to be strengthened. You revive your people. You calls you my son. Your remnant to be in place in this last hour. You calls your people to walk in obedience I bless you Jesus that even now God you're fighting off everything in the shot in defiance of your will I bless you Jesus that as we lift you you're drawing unto you now and as we lift you you're destroying every yoke of bondage every place of bondage in our lives Jesus we are Mandabahosha. We allow you, Father, to come in, Jesus. We open up our hearts and receive of you. We receive your word. We recognize that thou art able. We recognize that thou art sovereign. We recognize your sovereignty here. Whatever you allow is for the glory of our Father in heaven. It's for your glory that your majesty, that your excellency shall be seen, that you shall be glorified. In us, Jesus, be magnified here. We look not on an issue, but we look on you. We are mind We don't mind the Messiah. We keep our gaze on you, Jesus, our Redeemer, our peace. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Moshan. Everybody, Bohosa. Everything, oh Lord. Everything in here. Everything out there. God, I bless you that it comes into enlightenment now. I bless you, Jesus, that it shall be for the good of the that love you, I bless you, Jesus. That I'm almost him. That these souls out here, that they shall not be lost. I'm almost him. I bless you, Jesus. That you, I'm I bless you, Jesus. That you, I'm I bless you, That you're standing here, cause deliverance has come to Lake Elsinore. I'm my 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 soul. I bless you, Jesus. That deliverance has come to California. That deliverance has come to 
of San Diego to Los Angeles. That deliverance is manadobosha, is manifesting now. I bless you, Jesus, that the strongholds that had once been, there'll be no more. I bless you, Jesus, that the vocation, that you stand now against addiction. You stand now against insanity. You stand now against confusion. You stand now against the Boshaya, against unbelief. I bless you, Jesus. You stand in us. You stand up here. You reveal yourself that you be magnified. You be glorified. You change the opinion. You change the opinion. I bless you, Jesus. You stand now against every death and dumb spirit. You stand now against everything that's trying to seduce your people out of your will. That's trying to deceive us with the cares of this world. I bless you. You intervene now. I bless you. You stand up now. I bless you. Oh, Almighty God, Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You are the, the only way. Hallelujah. You're the only way. You are the only way, Jesus. The only way. The only way, the Lord my Jesus is the only way. There ain't no peace without Jesus. He's the Prince of Peace. There's no peace in your house without Jesus. There's no peace in Abosha in your family without Jesus. He's the only way. There ain't no other way. There ain't no saints you can pray to. You can pray to the Manabosha, to the mother of Jesus. You can pray to Mother Mary. You can Abohosha. You can pray to Saint Peter. You can Abohosha. There's only one name. The name of Jesus. The Bible tells you there's only one way that men shall be saved. There's only one way. He is that way, the truth, and the life. Only one way. There's only one way. And it's Jesus. The Bible calls him the Prince of Peace. Wherever his spirit is, there's liberty. There's only one way. You can't count him out. You can't count him out. He's the only way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> we thank you for true conversion. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for what you caused to be done in this place. And it's manifested even now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. It is so. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now we'll be giving it to the hands of our apostle. Chief Apostle Marcus Robinson. Come on, clap your hands. Open shut up. Open up your mouth and give Jesus praise. Oh yeah, shake I said, clap your hands. Open up your mouth and give Jesus praise. Open your mouth and give Jesus. Come on, get the Andio Shabbat. 
Give Jesus praise. Give him a praise, church. Oh, Lord, we give you praise today. Oh, Thank you, kind spirit. You may be seated in the presence of all Shabbat. Mighty God, we pray. Shanda Bakato. Oh, we praise your name. I shake. We don't back up, no. Uh uh, we're not praising you for what we want you to do, but we praise your name. We praise your name. If you don't change nothing, we praise, praise your name. Uh oh, it went down. It did it among those Shanda. Cause we trying to manipulate God. But we praise his name. We praise his name. Because before I knew his name, he was good to me. Oh, glory. 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 I'm letting y'all go. But I need you to make this declaration. Don't look at nobody. But look up to heaven and say, Lord, no matter how this thing turns out, I'll be here still praising your name because I love you. I shot, that's what he's doing. He testing it hard. You can't be born up. Come on off me with money than you are with God. You shall have no other gods before me. You are God alone. Before time begin. Oh, shall never say. Oh, you not. And we praise your name. Y'all can be seated. Y'all can be seated. You can do that I'm no shout. Because y'all playing in here. You only shouted because you thought he was going to fix something. That's not praise. That's not a praise. We will not manipulate the spirit of God. It don't nothing change in my life. I'm gonna still be here praising him. That man give it and he takes away. But blessed be the name that's a praise. Uh huh. That's a praise. That's a praise. And when I get through praising you with my feet, I'm gonna praise you with my life. Ain't no sense of dancing if you're gonna go back to doing what you did. But after I get through praising it with my feet, my life is gonna show the world that God been good to me. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. We got another service. Nakata shatabo. Be sikata mandi ashata. I don't understand how you come off a of fast discouraged. Be seated. I don't understand how you come off a of fast stressed. Be seated. Clap your hands, short, give God a shout. We done. I said, give him a shout with your mouth. Give him a shout. Not that a little whole shout down. A shout. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to God. Be seated. Be seated. Grace and peace be multiplied to a whole shit. It's Katahosh, Katahobahas. Katahosh, 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 Katahos
Good to see you. Be seated. It's good to see you. Be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Oh, he's a wonderful Savior. Y'all can be seated. We honor God today for his goodness in it at and his mercy. Amen. I'm trying to be out of here no later than 1230 so we don't have to rush. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for, amen, all that our hush. Somebody shout hallelujah. When I came in the building, when I came in the building, I was looking at a couple of people and I saw like a spirit of infirmity trying to come over them. But, but right in this atmosphere, right in this atmosphere, Sister Humphreys, God is working in the body. Right in this atmosphere, shy. Right in this atmosphere, Prophet Shatera. Right in this atmosphere, right in the Boshanda. He's sending it in remission again. Right in this atmosphere, right, right in the Boshe. See, it ain't a praise if you can't dance with nobody else. Oh, shot. Elder Shanae, I see God putting his hand in your belly right now. Hop, my shot. Oh, glory. Glory. Oh, shot. Lamanda, da, 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 basha. I don't need, I don't talk to people. I don't even know what this is, but God is healing somebody of fibroids. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that is, but I heard the Holy Ghost say, I heard the Holy Ghost say, I'm healing somebody right now of fibroid. Basha. It's, it's, he telling me it's like it's type, a type of cancer, the hush but he healing, he healing. I saw him put his hand right here and pull out a bunch of tumors he's healing y'all better stop playing because y'all playing Be seated. Good to see you, man. Please be seated. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ta 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 sha. Under Husha. Glory. Y'all can be seated. Y'all cut Husha. Y'all can be seated. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the Hosha. Thank you, Lord. Be seated. The Lord, 
the Lord, Debasha, the Lord is talking to me. I don't know how they can, can y'all hear out there? Amen. The Lord is, um, he's talking to me. It seemed like one, it seemed like I'm not hearing in these. Them two right there. Amen. Praise the Lord is talking to me. Pastor Brown and the Lord is telling me that the enemy, the enemy, thank you, there it is, that the enemy is, um, the enemy is coming after the women. He's coming after the women. But the Lord said, the Lord said that the women are opening themselves up for this attack through stress. Through stress. Be anxious for nothing and emotion. But in everything, with prayer, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the Lord, the Lord, because it ain't just the women, it's the men too. He want to he wanna stroke us up out of here. Ta-ta by Shanda. He want to stroke us. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. He want to stroke us up out of here. Lift your hands, Pastor Robinson. It ain't got nothing to do with your health. He want to stroke. He want to stroke us up out of here. God has not given up the bunsikushi, the spirit of fear. I need you to look at somebody next to you and say, you might well go on calm down because you ain't finna get ready to go nowhere. He has not given us the spirit of fear. And you ain't finna lose nothing. Everything that's in the hand of God, he said, I ain't lost nothing. Oh, I feel this thing today. Oh, I feel this thing today. Because the truth of the matter is, he's doing it again in spite of our disobedience. Now, we playing. I'm finna preach the word, but we're not, not shikiti tie. We're not gonna be able to play with God in this season. All this shouting, and then you, 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 Sunday, Sunday should shift everything that you planned on doing this week. That's out the will of God. You ain't really feeling God if you don't change no plans after coming out of his presence. Your Bible said when they were healed, they left another way. Be seated. This is what we at This is what we at today. Genesis chapter number 11. This is where we at. Oh, hallelujah to God. Y'all excuse me, I feel revival. I honor everybody. I feel revival. Pray for me, pastors. I love y'all so much. All the elders, ministers, missionaries, love y'all so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Genesis chapter number 11. And the who? Be seated. No, we, we, we teach it. I was, um, I, I, I walked in the house. I walked in the house. Um, I, I walked in the house last night. Um, and then this morning, when I saw when I saw my, my my other dogs, and um, and the Lord started talking to me. He started talking to me, Pastor Brown, and uh, it made me weep. It made me weep. I didn't had um, I didn't had Bell and Blue for three years. I didn't had them for three years. They three years old. This is gonna make sense in a minute. I had them for three years, Marcus, and and after three years of having them dogs, every time I come back in the house. Them dogs are excited like they ain't never seen me before. I done disciplined them. I done whooped them. I done rebu rebuked them. Reproved them. But every time I walk in that house, when I go home today, I ain't gonna have to beg them to be grateful. 
Soon as I walk in the house, they just gonna be, and they gonna jump all over me and lick me. And the Lord is like, the Lord is like, the Lord is like, how, how, how? This is what He told me. This is what made me weep. He said, "How does something that I gave y'all dominion over more consistent in loving than y'all? You ain't been serving God that long. No, we finna talk right through here. Because, uh oh, you see how quiet it got? Because, because I told Shamanda." The Lord said we have substituted a lifestyle of Christianity for a service. And we come into church Sunday. I ain't going to see y'all. Y'all, we not faithful. We not faithful. See, I, you see how sober it's getting now? And see, we praise it. We just praise God. It was right. It was authentic. But we wasn't truthful in our praise. The truth of the matter is the reason we got to praise God so hard is because we so inconsistent. I ain't never oh, Since I've been past, I ain't never, I ain't never hoshanda. Oh, I ain't never came in here and shouted and ran around the church because in hopes that God was gonna do something. I ain't never shouted over no money. Under Hosha, I ain't never shouted over much. Why would I shout over a promise that's already been given? But our inconsistency, I'm, I'm going to be gone in a minute. I, I know I ain't the one today. Our inconsistencies, our inconsistencies is why we shout so hard. And, and 12 of Romans says, I beseech you by the mercy. We ain't operating in grace. This is mercy. You know what mercy says? Mercy says, grace says, I'm going to let you off the hook. Mercy says, I'm going to get you, but not like I should get you. See, affliction is mercy. Chastisement is mercy. And it's because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. The Lord had to whoop us back in line because his compassion fails not. Great is his faith. See, God in the Amanda, see, what we don't understand is God is faithful to his word. We think God is faithful to us. He's faithful to his word. Because there is a word in your belly, God going to keep whooping you back in the wheel. I really, I shot I can't wait. We got pastors and elders meeting tomorrow, right? Amen. We have, and I want to see every pastor, every elder, no excuses. You ain't there? Amen. Just go on ahead and, Amen. See how quiet it got right there? Because we ain't faithful. We ain't faithful. How do you hoshaba? How do you hustle? How do you? Let me just get to the word so I can, so I don't, so I don't get on one because I see y'all looking at me a type of way. But no, 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 no. Listen to what the Bible says. Your Bible says, Father, bless the word in Jesus' name, amen. And the whole earth was of one what? And of one what? And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they what? They dwelt there. Flip it. And, and they said to who? One another. They didn't consult God. They said to one another. What did they say? Go let us do what? Let, let, let's build our own kingdom. This is what I'm coming after today. Y'all destinies is y'all kingdoms. Look, y'all already quiet. Y'all already mad. Let us build our own kingdom. And they said, they said, for, and they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar. Flip it. And they said, go. Let us build us kingdom, city, and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us Make a name. Lest we be what? 
upon the face of the what? Whole earth. Flip it. And the Lord came down to see your kingdom. The city and the tower which the children of men build it. God didn't build this because except the Lord build the city, they that labor. Oh, you quoted it, but some of y'all laboring in vain because God ain't building your business. You are. Flip it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. He got country. They, they were so rebellious, they made the Lord use incorrect grammar. And they, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. This is the deception. We think because it's going good right now that we're going to finish it. And now nothing will be restrained from them. God said, God said, God said, if I don't have mercy, if I don't intervene, they're going to be able to do whatever they want, which they have imagined to do. Imagined to do. So God wasn't giving them these visions. And the Lord said, behold, well, flip it, flip it, flip it. Go to, let, let us, let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Confusion. Flip it. So the Lord, the, the who did it? What did he do? He, he scattered them because they didn't obey. This is, this is the book of Acts concealed right here. Because he did it again in the book of Acts. Because they were building their own kingdom again with the Holy Ghost. And he raised up Paul. Remember a couple of weeks ago we talked about him? This is the first time it happened. Scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth. And they, they, they did what? They left off to build the city. That means they didn't finish. They didn't finish. Flip it. Therefore, the name of it is called Babel. Because who? The Lord brought some confusion in the middle of their of, of they vision. The Lord brought confusion to their building. The language of the earth and from thence the Lord scattered them abroad upon the face of the earth. Flip it. Was that it? No, that's it. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I, I want to talk to y'all, and, and I might not. Y'all might not say, "Man," but it's all good. I want to talk to y'all from this subject right here. If you want the confusion to stop, come out of rebellion. I know that ain't what you heard the Lord say to you, but that's what's going on. We, we have, um, we have, Father bless your word in Jesus' name. We, we, we think rebellion, there's a difference between rebellion and Sister Lovina Sarmento, Sarmento, is that, a, is that it? Did I say it right? How you doing? Good to see you. And your family. Thank y'all for coming. The walkers invited y'all. Thank y'all walkers. Y'all look like Green Bay. I know you Dallas, man. Y'all look like Green Bay today. Okay, amen. Praise the Lord. So, Father, bless your word in Jesus' name. Amen. That's just week one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, look, look, look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened. Um, what, what, there is a difference, like I was saying. There's a difference between... Rebellion and, and defiance. De defiance is, is what we see in this text. And, and one person that was defiant in leadership caused 
rebellion in the fellowship. One thing we're going to really, really be talking about, um, I told y'all we're going to shout hard, we're going to talk so. One thing we're going to really, really be talking about, because we, we, are, we are actually in 5784 now. And we're we going to talk about that. We'll talk about that later on. But because um, I don't want to give y'all this because then y'all will be shouting and running and it might not be applicable to you. But one, one thing that we're going to, because, see, we think that everything God says in the house is applicable to everybody in the house. So, so, so what happens is, what happens is one thing we're going to really, really, really be talking about is, is the high cost of leadership. Because, because I'm very concerned. Maybe it was the Lord, Pastor Robinson. I just want y'all to know, we ain't no lying. Because y'all, y'all, amen, praise the Lord. Even if we was, it's going to be on there later on. But one thing that is concerning me about the church that God has put me over with is the lack of faithfulness. The inconsistencies. The excuses. And, and the whole shot. And then, and then it's, not, it's not really an excuse. It's really defiance. Because some of us believe that God has dealt us. Lord, y'all going to pray today or what? No, I don't feel prayer. I, I, feel, I feel fight. But some, but some of us think that God has dealt us a bad hand or, or God, we prayed to God and God didn't do this or, or we wanted to do this or now we want to live our life and we want to do this. So now what we do is we rebel and we think that not showing up and being in place is going to show God. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. We got all kinds of excuses now. My shota for not being in place. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody that is a, maybe this is just a leadership thing, and I'll get to the congregants in a minute. But everybody that was a leader before you was a leader, I didn't mess with you. If you came to church, you came. If you did, you, but, but, but the moment you became a leader, you said to me and God, you have permission. To hold me accountable. You said to God that I am mature and I'm grown enough to fight off my, fight off my stuff and be present for somebody else. Woo but God is still losing to us. And what's happening is, what's happening is because of the mercy of God, and I have still allowed y'all to be elders and be an auxiliaries, you think you're gonna cross over into October with the same stuff. And the Lord Meshika. And the Lord said, 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 there's about to be some drastic changes that are about to happen in this church. Because, 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 because a lot of the people in the church, not just this church, they are operating in the spirit of Nimrod. Nimrod. Of Nimrod that says that we will repel. We will rebel. You, you remember, I believe my, the last Bible study that I taught, it was kind of long. It was kind of long. And I talked about the faithfulness. And I talked about, examine yourself to see how faithful you've been to God. And to the ministry. And then how faithful have you been to your calling? See, we think we think it is the devil. I'm, I'm just saying, well, I'm, I'm gonna be there in a minute. We think that it is the devil that's 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 just running rushard all in the earth, Prophet Chris. That the reason that the earth is so bad. No, the reason that the earth is so bad because it's travailing and it's waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God. See, I shined up a hole. You got a shift. I told in this coming year from being a church member to a son. And a son of God lets his light so shine everywhere he go. If, yeah, God, yeah, God. Yeah, God, if we was really doing the work of the Lord like we were supposed to be doing the work of the Lord, I'm not even saying, I'm not even saying more people would be in this church, but I guarantee you, your street would be a whole lot better. Your job would feel better. 
Shonda Hushai. But what happens is, what, what's going on is, and I've been feeling this thing. When I was all, when I was, I was feeling this thing. I was praying. I was like, Lord, what's going on? What's going on? He said, he said, he said, some of the people, they're angry at me. He said, a lot of them angry at you. And now there is a rebellion. There is a rebellion that's going on. Look at y'all quiet. Look at y'all because they think they're going to hurt you. My soul, my, my whole shamde le be also by doing what they want to do. But he says, son, don't you worry about a thing because I'm going to get rid of the cause. Confusion everywhere there is rebellion. So, so in the text, in the text, in the text, going home, y'all don't like me today. In the text, y'all mad, but I don't care. In the text, in the Bible, in the book of genetics, in the book of genetics, God, God is really, God is really, we look at, we, what I noticed, what I noticed is when I looked at Genesis again, God had my focus, my shame. He had my focus not on the characters, but he had my focus on the infection. We, we talk about Adam, we talk about Eve, we talk about Cain, we talk about Abel, we talk about Seth, we talk about all of them, but we don't talk about the infection. We don't talk about the power of sin. And, and, and what, what, look at y'all mad now, because that's still the power of uh, who was that? Who was that? I was talking to. I was talking to somebody. I was talking to somebody. I was talking to somebody. I was talking to. I, don't remember. I was talking to somebody. I was in Memphis. I was talking to somebody, and uh, and they was like, they was like, I got, I got convicted. I said, I said, are you saved then? Are you saved if you got convicted? Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah, cause that's what y'all heard in church, that the word convicted you. No, no. Read your Bible again. Every time conviction happened in the Bible, the people were not saved. They were convicted to make a choice. Your Bible said that the Holy Ghost, look at y'all, man, look at y'all, look how y'all looking at me. You ain't, you don't read your Bible, but got all this, this knowledge. It said the Holy Ghost will convict the world of sin. So if you convicted, you better make sure you over in God. Because I don't get convicted. God talked to me. I don't get convicted. God give me a scripture. And a lot of times it ain't conviction. It's, it's your conscience. So, so sin, sin, Lord, help me to preach today because I ain't got help today. Sin, sin came into the world through one man, through one man. The devil did not originate sin. See, God, God is not fighting the devil. God did not even come, oh Shema, for the primary reason of the devil. God, the only reason God came for the devil is because the devil had his keys. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. But his main purpose was to kill the power of sin. <clears throat> what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. This don't even move y'all no more. But the blood of Jesus. <laughs> For you would not redeem me unsold with corruptible things such as silver and gold. But with the precious blood of Jesus. What I want to know is have you ever really came in contact with the blood? If you are still struggling with cussing and, and lying and cheating and wanting to come to church one week and don't want to be there. You, do you not know depression is pride? You can't be saved and depressed. Pride. That's pride. How is it pride? Because it causes you to focus on you. Sin. Sabo. Sin. So, see, we don't talk about this no more. This is why, this is why the church get quiet. For sin.
for sin, for sin. I was talking to somebody else and something happened and it was like, they said they might not come to church. I said they was already leaving before it happened. Because whenever something happens, and then the whole whenever something happens, it reveals your heart. Because, see, if you're going with God all the way, Honda Bohosha, ain't nothing assured. You'll be like Paul. None of these things move me. But if you but if you already wanted to be gone and get ghosts, Honda Boho, you just need a reason. And then you know what the devil's gonna do? He's gonna give you a reason every single time. Every single time. Glory, glory, Charlotte, glory, glory, Jesus. Look, 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 look what happened. So, so, yeah, I'm coming in a way. They, they might well, you might well, yeah, you might well buckle up because we're going to crash in a minute. Look, look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened. Pastor Brown, this is why, this is why in this last hour we need discernment. You need discernment, we need, we need discernment, prophet. We need to be able to discern, Elder Devon, even when you preaching. Pass the amens. Because, because, because sin know how to hide in an amen. Glory. 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 I remember that old church. I remember that old church. I probably should tell do it a lot. I remember that old church. That old church, they, they didn't just say amen. They was like, oh, amen. That's me, Lord. Fix me, Jesus. Wash me. And they, they, they wasn't waiting on no. That's why they didn't have a lot of altar call. Because they was getting adjusted while the word was going on. Now, Teshama, if your blood pressure start going up because I'm preaching, if you get mad and angry while I'm preaching, it is something that is working on the inside of you, Honda Bohosha, that does not want you to be free. So sin. Sin came in the world. Sin came in the world. I got to hurry up. It's going to be good in San Diego. I promise I'm going to encourage you in San Diego. Sin came into the world. And sin, sin, seco, lemanda. Sin came into the world through one man. Through one man. And that one man, that one man was both of them. Because their name was Adam. We like, we like to blame it on the male. No, their name was Adam. Sin can't get in your house unless both of y'all agree. That's why somebody got to have the Holy Ghost. Glory. Glory. Everybody can't be emotional. Glory. Everybody can't come undone. When you lose in your mind, somebody got to be able to say, My soul loves Jesus. Oh, Shonda, behold, I can't get caught up. I see. Because, see, sin dominates the emotions. It dominates, no, 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 oh, It dominates that corner realm. See, what we preach, we preach the effects of sin. See, the effects of sin is gossip, is lying. Those are the effects. The effects of sin, the effects of sin, lay aside the effects and the sin, rebellion. Rebellion. You see that? You see that? Everything you're struggling with at the boho shot, at the root of it, is rebellion. Makata shakoba, manda ho it's rebellion and you know what rebellion means rebellion means I've been taught right I learned right I understood right but I ain't gonna do right and rebellion rebellion is rooted out of a wrong outlook see the enemy could not get man and woman to rebel El Cody, until he first changed their mind about where they were at glory be to God he came to the glory and said and said man y'all heads then man but they wasn't they wasn't the garden the garden wasn't the hedge 
Because if the garden was the hedge, the enemy wouldn't have been able to get in there. The hedge was around them. And the hedge of protection was the Holy Ghost. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, so now, so now he comes, he comes, and he comes with the, with the whole intention of getting man to rebel because sin was at the door. My shako. And it, its desire was for them. Before it was for Cain and Abel, it was for them. And you know what happened? You know what happened? You know what birthed sin? Desire. They saw that it was a tree desired. They desired it and they saw it was a tree to make one wise. Their, their desire is what caused them. So now they, they changed the glory of the incorruptible God unto a glory made like unto corruptible man. And because they did not choose to retain God. And they, you see that there used to be a time where the whole church used to quote Bible, but now oh Shammai, because they did not choose to retain God. Look, 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 look how much you talked on the phone this week versus how much Bible you read. Because they chose not to retain. He was talking to them. He was talking to them, but they chose not to retain him. In their knowledge. It says, it says, God gave them up. God gave them up to vile affections, to dishonor themselves among themselves. And then, because they did not give glory to God, neither were they thankful. That's where the reprobate mind comes from. The because I don't care where you at in your life right now, my sister and brother. Everybody in here got a right to be thankful. Oh, Shanda Boho. I know it, I know it, I know it. As Shamo, y'all so used to this upgrade spirit that you think you ain't got a reason to be thankful. Oh, Shanda, he woke you up this morning. Thank you. Oh, shit. Glory started you on your way. Thank you. Ain't none of your kids dead. Thank you. Whoosh. You sitting in here in your right mind. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. See, that's a praise. That's a praise. That tatosha. I got to go. That's a praise. Let me show you what a praise is, Pastor Castro, Pastor Brown. Then I'm out of here. This is what a praise really is. Let me show you what a praise really is. Y'all remember Paul, I don't know where I'm at, Paul and Silas when they was at Philippi and that little girl had that, 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 that python spirit in her. They cast it out and then they beat them and they put them in jail. What your Bible say? At midnight, right? In the middle of the night, Paul and Silas did what? Prayed, right? My show. Prayed. And then what else did they do? Praised. They prayed and they praised God. And what happened when they praised God? What happened? So they didn't praise him in their heart. It was loud. It was loud, right? And the whole shaman. See, sometimes it ain't the volume. Some, sometimes it's a spirit in you. Oh, Shema. Sometimes it ain't too loud. Oh, oh, Shema. Sometimes the praise gets so good, it starts disrupting the thing that's in you that don't want to be submitted to God. But I rebuke that spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Clap your hands, church. Give God a shout. Oh, shout. Woo. <laughs> be seated. I'm almost, oh, Shema. I'm almost out of here. Watch this. Ha, shame. Watch this, watch this. They prayed and they praised and it was loud. 
it was so loud that the prisoners heard them, right? And what happened? All of a sudden, wasn't an earthquake, because the earthquake would have shook up the city. Did not shake, but the jail. Somebody preach jailhouse rock one day. Please preach that. Did not shake, but the jail. So it wasn't an earthquake. Something bigger was getting up in the jail with him. I shot. For he inhabits. Woo, shout out the praises of his people. He sits in there and he dwells. And, and as you praise him, he makes himself bigger. See, the reason you stuck, because you don't know how to praise him in the problem. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in the... Look what happened. That ain't what I want. This is what I want. This, look what happened. Look what happened. They praised, and all of a sudden, there was an earthquake. And every man's bands were loosed off of two people's praise. Everybody didn't have to praise. See, distraction is so dangerous that you can feel an anointing to praise but look next to you by the person you keep choosing to sit by that don't praise God and you will stop praising and the enemy will be like I got him because if you would have shouted I would have said you free and them that ain't what I want either two people two people got everybody free their bands were loosed. Well, theological question, Pastor Brown, because I know you love the Bible. If, if praise is to get us out like we've been doing, why didn't they leave? Your Bible Your Bible said they praised them, they got loosed. Everybody got free. The jailer was about to kill himself. And he said, don't kill yourself. We still here. See, praise is not to get out of a situation. Praise is to stand in that situation, get free, and say, now look at what God can do. Woo, shanda bahaseka. So it ain't a praise if you don't stay after you get through praising. Look, Mahoshe, I got to go. I got to go. Because, see, we, we be praising God to get out of stuff. And what I really heard, prophet, what I really heard, 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 and, and it's, it's kind of kind of out there, Mark. I know it ain't going to offend you, but it's kind of out there. They, everybody was shouting, running, and hollering. And I was up here, and it wasn't, it wasn't everybody. But he said, he said, you need to tell the saints, he, he need to tell the saints that they ain't strippers and I ain't at no strip club. This seduction, trying to shout. Because we want God to throw some money at us. God is like, that's not praise. They're not most shy. Oh, that men would praise him. Well, maybe we should have been talking about this. For his goodness and his wonderful works towards the what? Towards the children of men. See, what gets you, look, oh, Chevy, them, them, them old saints, they had, some, they, they had some revelation. See, 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 right where you are right now, you in some right now. And what's going to get you out of right now is looking back and praising God for his goodness. And then he'll get you out of that and move you on to something else. And it'll take your praise to a different place. See, what happens is, what happens is, we have changed praise to... Um, 
Baal. If I shout, then he gonna, he gonna release me. Praise ain't got nothing to do with being released. Praise, praise is birthed out of a love life. Everything that has breath can't praise the Lord because it's not talking about natural breath. Because even in the Old Testament, even in the Old Testament, if everything that had breath was supposed to praise the Lord, why didn't the Philistines praise him? You see that? We need to stop. Anybody can praise God. No, they can't. No, they can't. A lot of folk can dance. But everybody can't praise God. You got to have some history with God to praise him. Shande, I saw ya. So I don't know what I was talking about, but hey man, praise the Lord. No, 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 no. 15 minutes. I gotta wrap this up real quick. Look what happens. Look what happens. So, 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 so because he made he he changed their desire about where they were and told them that if they eat that thing, then they can be like God, knowing good and evil. And we the devil didn't know he didn't lie. Nothing he said was a lie. Everything he said happened. Their eyes were open. They knew they were naked. They knew good and evil now. They went and hit. Now, now, now they're, now they're, now watch this. Now they're convicted. You see when they got convicted? In sin. And what happened when they got convicted? They hid. They stopped coming to church. They hid. They hid themselves together amongst the trees from the presence of the Lord. But where can I flee from his presence? If I take the wings of the morning, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, you're there. <laughs> So here come God. Here come God looking for them. God is looking for them. He's not looking for their presence. He's looking for his presence. Come on. See, y'all think church is about attendance. Shoulder behind that. You here, but you ain't here. He's looking for his Adam, he was talking to both of them because when he left them, they was together. Adam, Mr. and Miss, where y'all at? Ah, we heard you. We heard, I still heard you. See, there's a grace period that God will still allow you to hear him out of place. But that the whole shot. I done been there, Edward. I done been in the place in God a while ago, a long time ago, y'all. I ain't know y'all. I done been in the place in God when I was out of order. But I was still, God was still working with me. But you know what started happening? It's like, it's like, it's like you ever been on the phone and then you, you turn your volume down? It's like his voice started getting faint. And I couldn't really hear him. And then I had to work hard in church. I had to press in. I couldn't enter no more. I had to press. And I had to do the theatrics. I told Shammai, we heard your voice coming and we hid ourselves because we was naked. We was naked. We, we was uncovered. We were no longer under your covering. He said, he said, he said, who told y'all? Who told y'all that? Who, who, who told y'all y'all was naked? Linda Manda, did you, did you eat of the tree? Now, now why, whenever God asks you a question, he's all knowing. Whenever he asks you a question, he ain't asking for the answer. He's, that's grace. He's giving you an opportunity to confess your fault to him. But you know what? You now the brother steps up. 
he said, I got me a way out of this because now he got the knowledge of good and evil. So now he a quick thinker. He a quick thinker. He a quick thinker. So you know what he did? I'm going to blame it on God. He didn't, blame, he didn't blame his woman. He blamed God. That woman you gave me, it's your fault. I wonder how many times we didn't blame God for what we asked him for. She, she, she gave it to me, and I ate it. I ate it. Looked at the woman, the woman said, you know what? He tricked me. Didn't even allow the serpent to talk. He cursed him. So now the infection is in the earth. I'm, I'm gone. The infection is in the earth. And look, look, look what the infection has done. It has turned the man and woman against each other. You see how powerful that infection is now? Infection is in 2023. Women's empowerment, men's empowerment, feminism, chauvinism. Y'all quiet? Because that infection... That infection turned to, and God said, God said, God said, I ain't going to charge y'all for this. Something going to die. And he clothed them. He clothed them in humility after being rebellious. Because what he killed was a lamb. So he says, until I fully redeem y'all, y'all guilty, but I got to make y'all look innocent. So I'm going to clothe y'all in wool. So y'all can still look like y'all belong to me. Because we are the sheep of his. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they out of there. They out of there. They out of there. Then y'all know the story of Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel come out. You know, Cain killed Abel because he was jealous. 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 Gossipers have a strong insecurity, and they are jealous. Jealous. And gossip, gossip ain't just talking about people. Gossip is having a loose mouth. If you can't control your mouth, if you don't know how to bridle your tongue and be quiet, that's gossip. If you got to say everything that come to your mind, that's gossip. Gossipy people are ruled by their emotions. So they're going to say whatever they feel when they want to feel like it. And then if you try to get them, a, you try to talk to them, they're going to give you a scripture out of context. You can't judge me. Work out my own salvation. Wait a minute, darling. Let me help you with that scripture. You are rebellious and you don't want nobody to tell you you're rebellious. That ain't what that scripture means because you ain't even in a position to work out your own salvation. Come on, Jesus. People are out of order. Don't read no Bible. And the minute you get confronted with the word, work out your own salvation. Get out of here with that. Where is that at? What is the context of that? Philippians 2. See how mad y'all, I don't care about you getting mad. Mm. So now, so now, so now I'm about to come over this side right here. Now, now what happens, now what happens, because I promise you, man, I just left North Memphis. I, ain't, I promise you, man. Now, now what happens is when Cain is confronted by God, look at that. Look at that. We don't stand a chance. If a scam booker can talk back to God, we don't stand a chance. Because see, the other part of that is we get offended. We that bring the word out of love, we get offended when people don't receive us. And you know what he told Cain? You ain't got to receive me, brother, but I want to tell you this. Sin is crouching at that door. And it's desires for you, yep. It's desires for you. And it's, it wants to rule over you. But you better master it. I feel a strong spirit. 
But the Lord is really trying to save you from being impregnated. So let me go and talk since you're going to be rebellious. Because we playing. Since we want to play today. And I don't know why we ain't praying. And, but, this, but, but, but this person is saved. Is that salvation? You see that? But rebellion, rebellion has an element of deception in it too. Because you can be rebellious and still read your Bible. But you will read around the scriptures that hold you accountable. Come on, because I, I promise you, amen, praise the Lord. That, that seat boldness is over with. Come on, let's talk out the church, please. So look what happens. Look what happened. Cain is confronted. I got to go. Cain is confronted by God. Cain dismisses God. I ain't my brother's keeper. You see that? That's another problem we got, Pastor Brown. This not caring spirit. Care about no, care about them folks. They, they don't even like me. I told y'all, amen. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> y'all got the right pastor. I promise you, you do. Because I want to keep, I, if, if, you better be glad we got another service because I keep preaching that that thing just manifests. But he said, he said, hey. I ain't responsible for them. I ain't responsible for them. Wait a minute. If you say, if you save and you want to be saved, my Bible said when you get overtaken, it is my spiritual obligation. I don't care how mad you get. I don't care if you cuss me out. I don't care if you spit on my car. Just leave some money on there so I can wash it. You got to love people's soul more than their attitude. But we ain't there yet. Most of us are scared. Lord have mercy. So it said, it said, it says, it says, it says, it man, it said, that's witchcraft. Yeah, it's witchcraft because they praying. They praying. That's witchcraft. So look, he says, he says, I ain't my brother's keeper. And he said, what you do? What you do? When you don't care about people no more, it's because you have done something. When your bowels of a hush of compassion, I got to go. When they get shut up, you done done something. He said, your brother blood... I've been talking to you this whole time and listening to your brother's blood. He didn't already told me the story. But but who was the real who was the real villain? Sin. Unchecked sin. It was crouching at the door and came did not deal with his anger. I want to talk to y'all today. You angry folks up in here. Y'all smiling right now. But you better deal with that. Because that anger will manifest into a demon. And it'll have you communicating threats. It'll have you walking in the spirit of witchcraft. It'll handle her Shabbat. It'll have you walking in the old Shabbat. Siko, Shata Mohundi, Ashato. Oh my God, I feel something in here. So, 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 so Cain kills Abel. Cain and Anando kills Abel. He kills Abel. He kills Abel. He, ki he murders him. He murders him in the field. And Cain gets cursed. See, this is, this is what they don't understand. I'm trying to keep you from being cursed. And Cain was cursed because Cain's heart wasn't right before the offering. And because Cain's heart wasn't right, my show, 
He, because Cain did not talk to God on a regular basis. This, God, I got to go. See, Abel communed with God when he was with the sheep. So when he brought them sheep, God wasn't so much pleased with the sheep that he was his communion. But here come Abel on Sunday after not being there during the week. Trying to bring his offering. And the Lord is like, okay, thank you, but I don't receive that. Because your heart. Your heart. Your heart. I'm, I'm working too hard to bring in so little. It's your heart. It's your heart. It's your heart. Do, do you see? Look Look at the difference. Look, look. Can we go a little deeper? Look at the difference between Cain and Abel. When your heart is for God, Sister Crompton, God will give you something that will reproduce for you. Cain didn't have to do nothing but steward. Because the sheep reproduced. But when your heart ain't right, you got to work. And come away with just enough to get by. It's hard out here for me. Yeah, the way of the transgressor is hard. So now, so now, sin, sin gets Cain. Sin gets Cain kicked out. Mom and daddy got kicked out the glory. The son got kicked out the presence. Mom and daddy can still feel the presence, but son can't. So the son now, because he does not feel the presence of God, is walking around in a spirit of fear. Because he says, somebody going to kill me. Somebody is praying very, very hard that I have a heart attack. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. No, you ain't got to do them but pray. You ain't got to do them but pray. It's a spirit. See, this is what needs to happen. This is what needs to happen. Under Hoshaba. So look, look what happens. 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 I'm gone. Look what happens. Look what happens. I'm out. Look what happens. So it transfers. It transfers. It transfers. But you know what God does? God does a reset. A reset. You got the mask? A reset. He does a reset. He resets. God is so good that he reset. And he calls them to have another son by the name of Seth. Reset. He did not hold their past against them. Because when, no, no, no. when Seth came on the scene, God did not talk about Cain nor Abel. He said, Adam had one son in his image and likeness. Reset. But here's the thing about a reset. We get reset and we get happy, Pastor Brown, because we don't understand that even in a reset, man, man, sin going to try to kill your reset. Your Bible would tell you when he had set that reset, that reset restarted the whole earth and men began to call on the name of the Lord. He gave him a son that had the same power that he had before falling. And Mahosha, that, that, that birth stuff that started calling on Jesus. But you know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? Sin says we got to mess it up. The sons of God now. Now demonic activity got to kick in. Mahosha. Demons did not kick in until men started cock out to go calling on the name of the Lord. What y'all don't understand is you cannot call on Jesus and not expect the enemy to retaliate. But tell your neighbor, keep on calling him. So, tatamo, hayasha. So, I got to go. So, 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 so sin now, sin now shy, sin now says, sin now says, I have to, I have to, I have to infect men. I have to infect men. So you know how I'm going to infect men? I'm going to come after, I'm going to get it at the end. I'm going to come after the womb of the woman. Shebo say, Lemando shy. And angels 
started sleeping with women and poisoning their womb giving birth to demonic things you got to guard your belly in this season the devil is trying to pervert what God put in your belly but tell your neighbor you got to guard your belly in this season cause tell him God is getting ready to do some great things in your life but what the devil wants to do is he wants to get in your belly and contaminate what God is about to do so what the ansia Edward it had got so bad that God looked down from heaven Josh and he said the thought of man is evil continuously ain't nobody praising me no more Ain't nobody giving me glory no more. Everybody's after their own thing. So you know what God said. If I did it before, I ain't got no problem doing it again. So you know what he did, Pastor Brown? Is he reset again. And he sent them all shy. And he said they got 120 years until I destroy the earth. But no found favor, found grace in the sight of God. And he told Noah, I need you to build me an ark of safety because I'm getting ready to destroy man from off the face of the earth because don't nobody want to serve me no more. So Noah built the ark and after Noah built the ark, they got in there and he could only save his own family. I need you to do me a favor and say neighbor in this next year, please excuse me if I don't preach to you like I used to because God has released me to save my family. I don't want to be preaching to everybody else in my family missing. They didn't have a choice. I need you to do me a favor. Look around this church. If your family here, if they ain't here, send them an Instagram. If they ain't here, send them a Facebook and tell them because I love God, you ain't got no choice. You gonna get in this boat and God is gonna save us. And Joshua, he told people it's for me in my house we gonna serve the Lord if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord choose ye this day whom you will serve will it be God or man so God reset the earth and Noah and his family was rocking and shaking but they were safe tell your neighbor it's rough but I'm safe it's kind of hard but I'm safe I could have been dead but I'm saved and what I notice I got to get out of here what you don't understand is whenever God resets you he never brings you back to the same level Noah built the ark in the valley but when the flood when the flood was over Noah and them was on a heat God know how to elevate you in trouble. God know how to take you higher in trouble. So be not dismayed, neither be tired. God will. I said God will. He'll see you through. So your Bible, your Bible will tell that after the reset, Noah had a son named Ham, and Ham uncovered his nakedness. Why? Because sin always want to know too much information about you. Do me a favor, 
I said, do me a favor. I said, do me a favor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, please stay out of my tent. And by tent, I mean my business. All you need to know is that I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. Don't worry about nothing else because we ain't got time to be caught up trying to look at somebody's life to get out of God. Because even if you see something, you still preach, Charlie. Got to stay in God. So him uncovered his daddy. I got the go prophet. And he cursed his whole line. And out of him came a man by the name of Nimrod. Now Nimrod was a mighty hunter in the face of the Lord. Nimrod was defiant and Nimrod persuaded the young generation because they was too young to learn on their own. Do me a favor and tell your neighbor, whatever you do, don't use your influence to mess nobody up. If it ain't God, shut up. If it ain't a scripture, be quiet because God, God is getting ready to use me and I ain't got time to be messed up behind somebody's theology. Nimrod persuaded the people to rebel against God because Nimrod was mad because God was merciful. Nimrod was mad because God was God. And some of us are mad because God is God. We mad because we elevated stuff over God. And he's God and took it and say, I'm God. And besides me, there is no other. Tell, tell your neighbor he's God and he can do what he wanted. Job had to go through, but at the end of it, Job said, he's still God. The Lord given and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Clap your hands, church. We're gone. We're gone. We go. We got to shut up a whole shut up. We hope that one another hold about shaker. Oh, do me one more favor. Huh? Everybody that got the Holy Ghost, huh? look up and down your row. Huh? I said, neighbor, huh? you ain't bringing no curse huh? to this church. Huh? You ain't going to bring no curse huh? to my row. Huh? I rebuke huh? the spirit huh? of Nimrod. Huh? We will. Huh? not rebel. We will stay in the will of the Lord. Say yeah. Yeah. I rebuke him. I tell you. I told you. We got to go. Pastor Brown, we got to hush up. I told you. I told you. I we got to go. We're here, shut up. Nimrod, Nimrod, we go. We go. Nimrod, Christian. Here, tell Hosha. Nimrod, we done. Nimrod, Nimrod convinced the people. He convinced the people, Elder Walker, to, to rebel against what God said. God told the people to scatter. He told them to scatter. Because if they scatter and they go be fruitful and multiply, 
they'll be blessed. Nimrod says, don't scatter. Because the Lord's trying to trick us. And if y'all follow me, we can build us a city. And then I'm going to build us a tower. So if God think he's going to flood the earth again, I'm going to fight for y'all. This is what Nimrod said. This is what Nimrod said. And the people, the people believed Nimrod. Why? Because he was a mighty warrior in the face of God. Nimrod intimidated the people out of obeying God. And then people built that city. And you know what happened when they built that city? As long, as long as everybody was getting along, the city was being built faster than any city has ever been built before. God said, I got to come down there and I got to see what's going on because I told them to scatter. And you know what happened? God looked and he said, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Everybody's, everybody's not cool. Everybody's soul tied. We are, some of us are so, are more committed to people, soul tied, than we are God. How you feel about service is based off of your friend. It could be glory all in here, Pastor Brown. We could be slain all in the spirit. But if your friend blinking, then you're going to blink. Because your friend is your Holy Spirit. I saw who my. And what happened is God came down and says, this me, this me, I'm causing this confusion. I'm causing this confusion. You thought it was working. Everything was working good. Everything was working good. Prophetically, everything was working good up to about July. From July even to this day right here. Been some confusion. Stuff ain't been working like it used to. Money been missing. You ain't been spending it. Ain't no peace in your mind. Y'all can sit there and look all you want to. And God is like, it's because wherever there's confusion, it's because there's been rebellion. And now we have come to a place where I got to deal with the rebellion by causing confusion. Because I'm causing confusion not to kill you. But I'm causing confusion because now that's the only way you're going to separate. So now you know why you suspect? You know why you suspect everybody? You trying to blame the devil? God is like, I told you to leave him alone a long time ago. And now you're looking like, I don't know who's saying this. I don't know who's doing this. God is like, and you ain't going to know. But what you do need to know, here you go, they go to fight again. But what you need to know is this. You should have been and left him alone. You came here focused. You came here worshiping. Now your hands is here. Now they're here. Now you like this. And God is like, I didn't bring you here for that. So you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cause confusion. I'm going to cause confusion. Not in my church, in your life. See, I knew it was confusion in the church. Shut up, rookie. Nope. Your life. Your life. Your life. Your life. Your life. I don't know what's going on. It yeah, seems like ain't nothing work. I've been doing this and doing this. and Rebellion. Rebellion. God loves you so much, child of God, that he will not allow you to prosper in rebellion. So you know what he going to do? He going to keep on. He going to keep on. He going to keep on. You know why you have complications? We have complications. I heard. I just heard that. You know why you have complications? You ain't faithful. Now you idolize stuff. I, I just heard that. I just heard that. 
We got two locations. Now you use the stuff as an excuse. And then when it get rough, you want to call for prayer. And God is like, no, no. It's, it's just fight everywhere today. No, no. I know who shot. I remember, I can say this, I can say this, because then my son, I remember Shaw was pregnant, Shaw was pregnant, and um, something had happened, right, with the baby, and then she, I said, go on, try again. And then they tried again, and they died. And then, and then, um, you know, Shaw, she was pregnant, she was tripping a little bit. And, you know, Devon, I said, no, Devon, y'all better keep coming to church. She high risk, keep coming to church. Shaw was rolling up in that mug, and you know what happened? Faithful, touch your old side, and a baby that was supposed to have complications. Ain't nothing wrong with her. Nope, 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 nope. Excuses. Excuses. You got one child. You got two children. When I went to church, Pastor Brown, you know how it was. People had seven, eight kids, and they was everywhere, lined up, greased up, sitting on the same row. You got one child talking about, you don't know what it's like. Man, be quiet. I done been there, done that already. See that? You see that? You see that? We went to, we went to church with running noses. Hey, Amen. Everything. Coughing. Robitussin. And then we still couldn't go to sleep. But no, too many excuses. Because now we got things that can mask our rebellion. I told her, Shema, do y'all not know that worship is a responsibility? It's a privilege and it's a responsibility. I ain't got no gas. I ain't got no gas. You just borrowed $100 last week for food. You can't ask nobody for no gas money? Well, I didn't want to bother. No, no, no. You didn't want to go. Rebellion. So that's enough, church. Driving all the way down there for what? Because God might say something yes, sir. to you down there that he didn't say up here. Even though you was nasty up here. All of these excuses because we listen to that spirit of Nimrod. And you know what happened anyway? They got scattered. They lost friends. People they was close with, but they was better. See, God will make you better, even if he got to hurt you. He will. He will. He will. Yeah, I know y'all don't believe that. I know y'all don't believe that. He will make you better. He will make you better through a situation. I ain't in no sin. I ain't in no rebellion. But I've been going through a restoration. And here's the thing about restoration. When you start being restored, the thing that we don't understand about restoration is that restoration starts with a breakdown. Stripping you all the way down. All the way down. All the way down to the bare bones. But here's the thing about restoration. Edward, you done been through that. Even after, even after you change, the first thing you got to do is you got to be delivered from people that's telling you you're still the same. See, because restoration ain't about nobody else but you and God. But you and God. And God is like, that's what got you caught up last time. Listen, I'm, yes, Lord. Restore me. Restore me. Lord, restore me. Lord, restore me. Purge me with his Cleanse my evil ways. Lord, restore me. Lord, restore me. Lord, restore me. Why? Cause I just want to be saved I just want to be saved Hey Shabbat I just want to be saved I just want to be 
just want to be saved. I just want to be saved. <laughs> so, Lord, restore my time. Oh, Stand there. We're going home. We're going home. For whoever my shetai calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You shall be saved. <laughs> saved. Shall be saved. 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 Shall be saved. Say, say, shall be saved. Hatabo, say, Elamanda, say, who shall shall be saved. Hey, Manda, say, yeah, hey, Shata, woo, Hoba, shall be saved. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hand of a hosha in the man's soul is Hannah Masia. Yeah, my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, man, so yeah. In the man's soul, come on, say. We just heard it, and I hear the Lord uh, saying it now, so I'm just going to repeat what I heard. Hallelujah. The Lord's been speaking it all throughout this gathering. And he is a man. He truly is restoring in this time. He's called for us. He's been calling consistently for us to return back to the place of worship. And we'll see all of these things. Be restored unto us in this time. But before we see those things come into order, he wants us to be in Amasha, to be in order. To find ourselves in, we're too inconsistent. Our worship life is inconsistent. Where there's too much unfaithfulness. And inconsistency in our lives. But God, He's been speaking this and I hear it now. But if we would just be consistent, be faithful unto the things that God has called us to, we shall see the manifestation of the restoration. There is still a work that God desires to do inside of us. There's too much that we've allowed to pollute us, there's too much that we've allowed to contaminate us. And Anamosha and draw us out of the place of worship. But if I'm if we would go back to calling on his name, if we go back to true worship, he is the God that restores and redeems. And there is a refreshing that shall come upon his people. Amen. And so we say yes to our Lord. We shall we say yes unto our God. We say yes unto our God. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. So, God, we thank you, Father. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this time of fellowship. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for every mind, God, that makes a decision now, God, not to defy you, not to be disobedient unto you, but God, but to return to worship and obedience unto you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you keep us even as we leave this place. 
God, that our life shall be a worship unto you, Father. That our life shall be a praise unto you. God, that we shall praise you with uprightness of heart. And God, we thank you for this time that you have that you have allowed us, God, the mercy that you've shown unto us, Father. And we make a decision even now as we prepare to be dismissed from this place. We make a decision to be obedient unto you, Father. Hallelujah. Everything that you have spoken. Hallelujah. And we say yes unto you. We bless you and magnify you. God, in this time, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.